Both Iphigenia and Polyxena share a tragic similarity in their fates, as both were led to weddings that ultimately turned into their deaths. This common thread in their story sheds light on the societal attitudes towards women in ancient Greek mythology. The metaphor of a wedding being akin to a death for a young woman is a powerful commentary on the limited agency and autonomy afforded to women in that society. In the case of Iphigenia, she was famously sacrificed by her father, King Agamemnon, in order to appease the goddess Artemis and ensure a favorable wind for the Greek fleet to sail to Troy. Iphigenia's sacrifice at the hands of her own father speaks to the oppressive and patriarchal nature of ancient Greek society, where women were often seen as little more than pawns to be used in the service of men's desires and ambitions. Similarly, Polyxena met her tragic end at the hands of the Greeks, specifically Achilles, who was enamored with her beauty. In some versions of the myth, Polyxena willingly sacrifices herself in order to spare the life of her brother Troilus, while in others she is brutally murdered by Achilles. Regardless of the specific details, Polyxena's fate is ultimately tied to the whims and desires of the men around her, highlighting the lack of agency and self-determination afforded to women in ancient Greek society. The metaphor of a wedding representing the end of a woman as a person and the beginning of her as an ancillary character in the lives of her husband and children is a stark commentary on the limited roles available to women in ancient Greece. Marriage was often seen as the primary purpose and destiny of a woman, and once married, her identity and agency were subsumed by those of her husband and children. This societal expectation is reflected in the tragic fates of both Iphigenia and Polyxena, whose weddings ultimately led to their deaths, symbolizing the loss of their individuality and agency. While the specifics of Iphigenia and Polyxena's stories differ, their shared experience of being led to weddings that turned into their deaths speaks to the broader societal attitudes towards women in ancient Greece. Both women were ultimately sacrificed in the service of male desires and ambitions, highlighting the oppressive and patriarchal nature of ancient Greek society.